Hello everyone, Rick and Nikki here. You know, it's been a while since we've done a Florida food tour. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a very special one today. Have you ever seen the show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, and wished you could go to one of those places? Well, you're in luck. There's one in town and we're going to it today. So let's pull the doors, drop the top, and go get some food. Welcome to Seven Bites. It's about 20 to 25 minutes away from the theme park areas mm -hmm. located in the Milk District of Orlando. Yes, I said the Milk District. <laughs> Let's go get some food. And we did have a hard time finding a spot. You can see a line is building, but I don't think we have to wait in this line as we have ordered our food to go. And the reason why we did this, you saw the long line. That is not unusual to get into seven bites. For sure. So my pro tip for myself is to call ahead and just go in and pick it up. And then like come over here to the park or something. Well, and that's a pro tip for what I ordered today, the mm -hmm. pot pie. The pot pie, they only make a certain number and they sell out quick. So that's one of the recommendations even that they say is order ahead mm -hmm. for that, even if you're gonna stay and sit in the restaurant itself. Yeah, you have the pot pie. They will ship that. They will. Though not international. No, no, just in the continental US. And we have eaten in there before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very a very quaint place. You know, you know, they're playing that 80s music. I think you really like the vibe of oh, the place. Oh, dude, I, like when you walk in there, I, honestly, your coolness factor just levels up. I mean, really, you just feel just like a cooler person just being in there. It's it's amazing. <laughs> feel a little more hip, don't you? You sure do, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're playing that 80s music and stuff. So oh, for we sure. just thought just because I ordered ahead of time so I could skip the line and yeah. we'd have a nice picnic on this nice Florida winter day. <laughs> uh, always with you, Nikki, the weather. The it, weather with me, yeah. It is beautiful all week long mm -hmm. until you are available for a road trip. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, oh, the what can we do? We have a cool little uh, picnic, but you have that uh, the chicken pot pie. That's good for kind of a chilly day. It is, and our desserts too. I don't want to spoil anything, but our desserts kind of fit mm -hmm. the picnic vibe as well. Well, let's get to the little picnic basket. We'll show you what we got. We'll also go over kind of the full menu. Uh, we've got the item that was featured on the show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Mm -hmm. I've got my personal favorite. I think what I have is like probably one of the best things on the menu. Oh. But let's show you the whole thing. Here's our little picnic basket, but let me tell you something. Seven Bites it specializes in nostalgic southern comfort foods with a modern twist. It is only a breakfast, lunch, and brunch place. No dinners. They also have fantastic made from scratch sweets. Now here's the hours of operation. Thursday through Friday 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. They are not open Monday through Wednesday. Very important. Don't forget that. Don't show up here on a Tuesday. You'll be very disappointed. <laughs> I have warned you. Not open Monday through Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We can't wait any longer for our stuff. Let's pull it out, we'll eat it, we'll talk about it, and then I will give you the whole menu and give you some more information, but we just can't wait anymore. And here it is, the world famous chicken pot pie from Seven Bites, as featured on the TV show, 
Nikki can't wait, can ya? She no. loves chicken pot pies. I do, they're my favorite. All right, dig into that one, baby. And this, my friends, is a southern style Cuban sandwich with Carolina barbecue sauce. Oh, I've had this before. This is my favorite. Excuse me while I have a good meal. All right, you've had about half of it. <laughs> what do you think? Um, it's fantastic. So the chicken inside is very tender, very juicy. Um, the I've also had like chicken pot pies that have just the crust on the top and not on the bottom. But this is like a full casing of, you know, underneath bottom and sides and top. So it's great. And then the, the crust itself is light and flaky. Exactly what you would want in a, um, in a pot pie for sure. Okay. I've had several bites of my Cuban sandwich right now. This is my all time favorite Cuban sandwich. And here's a pro tip. I always order extra Carolina sauce. I'm in heaven. The single pot pie was filling for me, but you might want to consider getting two. And here's my reason. They're so good you're going to want another one later on. <laughs> and I just love everything about mine. Uh, the bread is really good. The meats that they use, the cheese, the, uh, the sauce. It's my favorite. I've told you this. It's my favorite. This is a total recommendation. Come here. Seven bites. Cuban sandwich. And I think with this um, Cuban sandwich, I think it's the pork that puts it over the top. They must slow roast their own pork. It's that good. They have to do it themselves. The breakfast prices range between $7 and $17. The lunch prices range between $9 and $17. The sweets the prices range between two and nine dollars. They do have 10 libations. I don't have a personal recommendation for you regarding those, but maybe you want to try the Unicorn Farts Sour Beer just because of the name. And here are the menu items. I will leave a link to the menu so you can read everything in its full description. This is just a quick overview. For breakfast, you have the signature chicken biscuit, the mini pearl, which is basically chicken and waffles, three little pigs, the southern, buttermilk hotcakes and syrup, savory ham or vegetable bread pudding, the seventh trimester, seven benedicts, farmer's breakfast sandwich, biscuits and gravy, seven platter, a ham morning biscuit, a sausage morning biscuit, a bacon morning biscuit, and a veggie morning biscuit. All right, and here we go with the lunch menu. Starting off with the chicken pot pie, a hail Caesar, cheesy Q, a Southern Cuban, which Rick got today, rings and nugs, quiche of the day, southern cob, meatloaf sandwich, seventh heaven burger, smokehouse burger, chicken salad sandwich, grilled pimento cheese and bacon sandwich, an egg salad sandwich, tuna melt, and five cheese mac and cheese. I'll handle the sweets. You have a sweet and savory scone, muffins, coffee cake slice, mini pies, three layer cake slice, shortbread, cookies, bar cookies, brownies, nighttime sky pie. Hold on, more on that in a minute. Oatmeal cream pie, cheesecake, and a seasonal sweet bread pudding. And here are the libations, the OBP beer mimosa, signature orange blossom mimosa, signature peach lavender mimosa, house tropical sangria, city beautiful IPA, orange blossom pilsner, OBP2, Kentucky vanilla cream ale, unicorn fart sour beer, and L-O-V-E lager. In fact, reading off all the biscuits, this place was actually built off the biscuit. That was Chef Trina's Grammys, like main thing she made, like the first thing I think she taught Chef Trina. So in essence, the Seven Bites Empire built off of biscuits. What you got there, Nikki? Honestly, it's seventh heaven. Um, actually, it's called a bar cookie, and it's got chocolate and caramel, I think, and then the cookie around it, and then pecans in it. It's absolutely wonderful. And pecans? Rich. Wait a second. Or pecans? I say pecans. Pecans? I'm in the oh. south. <laughs> okay, pecans. As I was digging through the picnic basket to get my dessert, I should have mentioned plantain chips comes with my Cuban sandwich. Forgot about those. And here is my dessert. The nighttime sky pie, also featured in the TV show in that episode of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. It is totally worth it just to come here 
and order yourself, I don't know, a dozen of these. Excuse me why I have a great dessert. And oh, by the way, this is the one I'm having right now as my dessert. This is the one I'm having at midnight for my dessert. This is the best s'mores related dessert I have ever had. Why? Because it's made from scratch. The marshmallow is made from scratch and the graham cracker itself is made from scratch. I think the only thing that isn't might be the chocolate. Right. Uh, but for me, now I'm not a marshmallow guy. Right. But I love this marshmallow. It's incredible. I think it is the best s'more I have ever had in my entire life. And it fits our picnic today. <laughs> it does. The graham cracker. Superb. It's, it's phenomenal. The whole thing. That's why I got two. I'm a little disappointed I didn't order more. I know. I, I, was, I was shocked you only ordered two. <laughs> my mistake. Well, there you go, my friends. Seven bites. One of the best places in Orlando for breakfast, brunch, or lunch. And like I said, if you want to go to a place that was featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives, mm -hmm. you have a place right here in Orlando to do it. 20 minutes from the parks. That's true. The only thing missing from today's, we could have used some hot chocolate. We really could have. <laughs> <laughs> or, or coffee or something, because it's a little chilly, but um, I liked the yeah. thinking of it all, just because it's a road trip and it's, yeah. you know, so it's, it's kind of fun to show a local park, too, where they have skateboarding and beach volleyball mm -hmm. and a playground and workout areas. And, and they do a lot of festivals here. They really do. So it's, it's a multi- called festival park. Exactly. It's a multi-purpose park. It's great. So it's really yeah. nice right in the heart of, like, downtown. Yeah, being here yeah, made it feel more road trippy. It you did. don't have to take your food to go. Yeah. You can wait in that line. How long do you think that line is going to take? 30 minutes at least. Probably. Yeah. yeah, predict about 30 minutes if you're not there like kind of right at opening. Mm -hmm. It's like that yeah. all the time. Every time we've been there, that line has been that long to get into the door. Right. I'm, but it moves. The, yeah. You know, you're not going to be there well, forever. Well, I you? skipped the line today. You did. We were smart. Ordered we were smart. ahead of time. And that mm -hmm. way you were guaranteed your chicken pot pie because those do sell out. Yes. So that's a pro tip. If mm -hmm. you're going there for that pot pie, which I 100% highly recommend, probably one of the best pot pies I've ever had in my life, um, order ahead of time. Yeah, and I'll, like I said, I'll leave the uh, website in the description box. Yeah. You can order that. You can have it shipped to Montana. If you're in Montana and that's you want that chicken pot pie, mm -hmm. go ahead and do that. <laughs> but as always, adventures out there. You can find it on a road trip.